Well, hello, my real estate friends. Hope your day is going great. Here we go. We are going to plan some stuff for March. Can you even believe we're already talking? Now, we're going to be in March in like a week, week and a half, but we're going to be ahead of the game. Let's go ahead, set some focuses, set some goals, and get everything rolling for our real estate business. We're going to talk about some social media post ideas, some pop by ideas that are under like five bucks. Um, we're going to we're going to do our little prospecting bingo game. So it's all fun stuff. Kind of get our focus and, and our mindset for the new month to come. So I'm really excited to dig in. I am going to pull up the workbook and we're just going to walk right through it. If you want to grab your copy of the workbook, because it has some fun stuff in there, some good worksheets and all that kind of stuff. Just below in the description, there's going to be a link. Tell us where to send the workbook. So give us an email address where we can send your workbook. Uh, and we will get that emailed right over to you. And then, so if you want to pause the video, grab the workbook, and then we can kind of walk through it and walk along. Um, I'm really excited to get in it. So let me go hang in my screen, pulled in. Hope everybody's day is going great. It's about three o'clock here, uh, February 22nd. I had a really good investor meeting this morning that went really well. So I'm super excited to share with everybody all the stuff. We've got some pretty big plans. So I'm excited to get in it um, and share that with you. So as all that comes available and, and starts unraveling, I'll be sharing some some cool things. So, uh, but in any case, let's go ahead and get going with March. So, you know, I like to have a focus every month and this month is all about being authentic. This is a big one. This is one that I, I talk a lot about in our authenticity, however you say that. <laughs> But being our own unique rock star, and that is what is going to set you apart from all the other awesome agents that are out there is whatever is unique to you. Nobody has been down your same journey. Nobody has walked your path. Nobody has, you know, no matter where your, your background comes from, no matter your upbringing, none of that matters, right? Because uh, nobody has done that journey just like you have. And that is what makes you such a unique real estate agent and makes you like have all these wonderful, super awesome uh, things, you know, about you. And it took me a while in my business to kind of figure this out. Uh, but once I figured out that I cannot please everybody, right? And I am not made for everybody. I am not, you know, a, a real estate agent that's going to be perfect for every different type of buyer and seller. Once I figured that out, uh, things in my business went a lot better, a lot more smooth, right? And so I was able to get a lot more done in less amount of time. So you're all this, all, being authentic and being unique and being uniquely you, that, that, that's what it's all about. Okay. So once you recognize those strengths that you have, and you can own that unique superpower that you have, you're going to grow that courage and that self-confidence. You're going to figure out what you're really, really good at and how you are best to be able to help uh, other clients, you know, buyers and sellers. And then you can have all that confidence to broadcast to the world, hey, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready to, to be your real estate professional, right? Um when you speak your truth, you're going to attract your tribe, right? So things that interest you, things that, that are unique to you and your personality and your morals and what you believe in, that is going to speak and attract the tribe around you, right? And so those are going to be your, 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 your loyal fans. Uh, they're going to support you. They're going to support your business. They're going to grow that know, like, and trust factor to want to work with you uh, and all the things, okay? So know yourself, what you stand for, work on branding and making sure that is aligned with your values. Don't be afraid to express yourself and show vulnerability. Vulnerability is one of the top characteristics of leadership. So, you know, admit when you screw up, fix it and, you know, learn from that and move on. Right. But but own that, you know, if you make a mistake or something doesn't go right, it's OK. I don't look at it as a, as a failed lesson. I look at it as a as a learning lesson. Now I can add that to my resume because I've overcome that. I've been there. I've done that. I've figured out a way and, and life goes on, right? So be authentic, be uniquely you. That is the focus for the month of March. All right. There's a lot going on this month. <laughs> we got a lot going on. So to the left, 
uh, I've got most of our, our main important um, holidays of uh, 3 1 is World Compliment Day. 3 10, our clocks go up an hour. So we're going to lose an hour of sleep. So we want to let all of our let our people know. Uh, 3 15, World Sleep Day. Of course, we've got St. Patrick's Day. Spring begins already on the 19th. Um, Puppy Day, Mom and Dad Business Owner Day. And then, of course, we have Easter Sunday that this year falls in March. So it's a lot going on. Um, what I like to do and how I like to use social media to use these dates as, as social media posts, especially the hashtag holidays. You can use the hashtag holidays as a way to kind of showcase to those leads and to your online audience a little bit about you and your world. So for example, 323 is National Puppy Day. Well, if you have a puppy, share about your puppy. Let those people in side your personal world, right? And, and share a little bit with them about that. Uh, Mom and Pop Business Owner Day. Well, as real estate agents, we are business owners. So you could share a little bit about that, but you could also go into your town or your city, find a mom pop shop, right? Maybe go in there and, and talk with the owner a little bit, but do a post like a highlight spotlight uh, social media post about that shop or restaurant or whatever it is. Um, make sure you tag that business in your post so that you get eyes um, you'll get eyes on you from their audience, if that makes sense. So you make the post, you tag the restaurant, right? And then everybody that's on that restaurant's fan page, they then see your post. So it brings eyes to you as the local real estate marketing expert. Okay. Um, so these are some just, you can use these holidays again as Social media post ideas, it's a great way to do it, all right? Of course, our month colors are all variations of greens. A uh, month quote, approach each customer with the idea of helping them solve a problem or achieve a goal, not of selling a product or service. Um, and so I, you know, have always said any real estate agent that comes into this business looking to make a buck probably won't make it. But if you come into this business kind of like a medical profession or something like that, uh, with the mindset of helping others and helping them solve a problem, helping them achieve their goals, all the success and all the money and everything else is going to fall on the back end. And, and that is so true is real estate, uh, as a real estate agent, pop by ideas. So <laughs> I've got a couple of ideas here for you hopping by to say hi, because of course we do have Easter that falls in the month of March. Uh, I struck gold having you as a client. Uh, spring cleaning is upon us. Here's a guide to help. And so I have a couple buttons here. Let me show you this one. This would be more for the hop and buy to say hi. This is my little Instagram girl. I love her. She's so cute. Uh, let me click on it. And then if I can, if it'll let me, let's see, open link in on cognito window. Here we go. Continue. All right. I know the volume's not going to work on this, so I'll just kind of talk through it a little bit. But check this out. Look how cute this is. So it's just simple. Two little paper bags. She's, you know, cutting out the little ears. Put a little grass in there. Maybe some candy. Tie a bow. Uh, put a little cotton tail on there. But how cute is that? Like, so inexpensive. So easy to do. Put your little business card in there. All of that. Good to go. Makes it super easy. So that link is there for you. And then also I have just launched on my Etsy shop, I've just launched the spring uh, marketing kit. And so the spring marketing kit, essentially, um, it's a done for you. You can use it as a lead magnet. So you can promote it as a lead magnet to try to draw in new leads. Uh, but you can also, you know, use it, print it out, drop it off as a pop by. Um, or you can send it to like, yeah, as a PDF and an email to past clients just saying, hey, just wanted to, to stop by and, and share this with you um, or or current leads that you're that you're currently working for. But essentially, it's this 30 day declutter challenge workbook that they get. You just pop into Canva, change your picture, add your name, your logo done. Um, I'm giving you some text examples here. So, uh, you know, just kind of saying, hey, I just emailed you a copy. It's a way to stay in touch. You want to stay at top of mind. Uh, you know, one 
client, one past client is worth five future transactions. So we got to stay top of mind. We got to continuously provide value. Um, so all of this is here for you. There's a couple social media posts, some Facebook banners, so you can really display it. Um, some story templates, and then of course the text mockups. So all of that is there for you. Um, if you are not familiar with lead magnets at all, or have never heard of them and don't really understand what a landing page is or an opt-in form or any of that stuff, I have put together the lead magnet workshop. Now the workshop 17 bucks. Okay. So it's in, in, in this little template, all this marketing kit right here, I think it's priced at like 12. So for $5 more, you can get the lead magnet workshop, which is going to give you all of this plus some extra templates. Plus I'm walking you through step-by-step -step, uh, how to prepare your landing page or opt-in forms. We go through uh, marketing ideas to promote lead magnets that you already have, like your buyers and sellers guides and stuff like that. So all of that is there for you, but you can definitely use it as a pop buy. So I wanted to make sure the spring one just got launched. So I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you. Now, as far as the um, the lottery, or, or I'm sorry, this one right here, uh, I struck gold having you as a client. You could literally put that on a little card, right? And, and tie a little dollar lottery ticket on it and, you know, stick it on their door, right? Um, or tie your business card or, or something like that to it. Super simple. And and again, <laughs> the, the least expensive, like cheesiest little Popeyes that I've ever done, those are the ones that they love the most, that my clients love the most. And I, my clients, you know, range from first time home buyers to, you know, millionaires that you know have their forever home so it doesn't really matter they they it's just it's the thought that counts it's cute it's it keeps you top of mind and that's the goal right you don't have to go broke doing all that stuff all right <laughs> let's talk about last month so what was this is a worksheet for you for last month goals okay um Basically, you want to just kind of jot down how you feel you've done for the month of February so far. So what is your reflection of the goal of the month? Um, did you accomplish your one thing? If you didn't do the one thing with me last month in February, we'll do it for March and then you'll kind of know what it is. Uh, what were you most proud of for the month of February? What did you learn in February? At least like one thing. You know, what, what did you learn uh, and what marketing worked for you? So you can kind of revert back, look at some of your social media posts or maybe some some calls you might have gotten in. What was it that worked for you the best? Uh, how many appointments did you attend? Did you get any contracts signed? If so, how many and how many closings did you complete? So that's going to kind of give you that recap for February now we're moving into March. OK, so so we want one big thing that we need to get done this month. All right. And so you want it to fill in all of these boxes here. So what is that one thing you want to accomplish this month? This could be that you really want to get better at posting on social media. It could be that you really need to button up your website. It could be that, you know, you want to you want to learn how to do a certain thing to get better at it. Maybe Canva or, you know, something like that. What is that one big thing that you want to get done this month and how how will you know when it is accomplished, right? So if it is buttoning up your website, you're going to know because it's all going to be done, right? Um, how can I accomplish this goal? So what steps do you need to take in order to get it done? So kind of jot down that that list that needs to, to that you need to do in order to get that done. Um, how is it going to help you grow your business? And then what dates? Do you plan on working on this one thing? And what is your, your completion date? So what date do you want to have it done? Go ahead and write that down. Write that in your calendar, okay? Um, and this could be something that you just want to do really good at attending a couple broker meetings this month, you know, or, or maybe do some CE classes or something like that. That's completely fine as well. Okay, let's talk about the goals for the month. Um, what are you most excited about for March? So anything that you've got going on for the month of March, what is kind of got you ticking on that? Uh, your numbers. So I always put new friends because new friends just sounds better than leads, right? So how many new friends do you need to meet for March? How many appointments do you need to go on in March? And then what is your projected income? How many contracts do you need to have signed and how many closings? 
do you want to have completed for the month? How do you plan to achieve these number goals? So maybe you're going to pick up your door knocking. Maybe you're going to pick up your cold calling. Maybe you're going to try to work your sphere a little bit harder. Maybe you're going to try to work with other real estate agents to try to build, you know, relationships with them as far as, you know, building that referral network. You could do a lot of that joining the Facebook groups. Um, And then I always like to put in who is your why. So, so. All of this work and everything that you do, why do you do it, right? And it's really important to remember why you do what you do every day anyway. And it could be for yourself. It could be for your church. It could be for your family, your friends, uh, you know, somebody specific in your family or in your friends, you know. Uh, but why do you do it? Um, and 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 knowing that motivation that's behind it all, okay? All right, Cool. So now let's get into our prospecting bingo. I love this one. So uh, I haven't changed up any of the task lists from last month because I feel like it's it's perfect, honestly. But essentially, all you're going to do is on your prospecting bingo card, you're gonna you're gonna write in week one to four what those dates are, right? And then you're gonna fill in the little white boxes with a task, okay? And so you can come over here to the task list, pick some, however you want to do that. Uh, the star is a free space, but if you want to write over that, you can definitely do that. All right. And then as you complete them, you start marking them off with a highlighter, right? And so here's the thing. You got to reward yourself. <laughs> so if you get one line across, that's three points. If you get two lines, that's three points. And then you get the point, right? So there's three, six, nine, and 12 points. What are your rewards going to be for reaching these? Okay. So, um, you know, maybe it's just going on a drive, listening to music. Maybe it's having your, you know, um, your hair, your nails done, you know, some somehow kind of special or the new shirt that you wanted to get. How are you going to reward yourself for hitting your goals, right? So obviously, if you get all 12 points, it might be, you know, something a little bigger than something at three points. But Set those goals for yourself. It makes it a little bit more fun. And the prospecting is all, you know, just really stuff we should do to generate leads slash meet friends. Okay. (laughs) So that is that. Now I have added a little bit. This is a little bit what I talk about in my boot camp, but I've gone ahead and added it in here because I feel like it's important to kind of have an idea as to what your schedule and your routine is going to look like. for, for the week. And so the best way to do it, this is kind of like a time blocking schedule. So this one right here is an example. So you see right here, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, 8 a.m. is all admin. 9 a.m. is existing clients. A funnel follow-up is 10 to 12. 12 o'clock of lunch. Very important to take a lunch. You're going to be way more productive by walking away from your desk and taking a lunch than you would be if you just sat at your desk all day. Uh, one to three, or I'm sorry, one to four, it's going to be your daily focus. And then all of four o'clock is going to be your end of day recap. And so when I've given you an example of what this would look like. So if I know that my daily focus um, is going to be prospecting and meeting new friends, what, you know, what am I doing? And this is all an example, but it's really good to kind of have that block schedule set up um, so that you know where you're going and what you're doing every day. And look, after after my admin from 8 to 9 a.m., I check respond to emails or social messages, happy birthdays, anniversaries, um, adding new leads and notes from yesterday into my database. I'm done. At 9 a.m., I got to move to the next thing, right? Now, we know that you may get a call if somebody wants to see a house, right? Obviously, go show them that house. That's going to be your, your golden hours of making money. But at least you know where you you left off. So if I got a call at 10 a.m., somebody wanted to, to go see a house. Well, I know that I missed my funnel follow-up from 10 to 11. So now I got to make up for it. And I might pick up working on a, you know, Tuesday. And I'm normally off on Tuesdays kind of thing. Okay, so this just kind of helps you keep that, keep on track, keep that goal and know sort of what you're doing. All right. And then again, this is just more information about that workshop that I already talked to you about for the lead magnet workshop. And all of that is there for you. Let me get my screen pulled up. So 
March. We got a lot going on. <laughs> but having the goals, kind of planning it all out, putting it in there and, and setting it up. Hopefully this kind of gave you some uh, structure on that. Definitely give this video a like. If you are not already following me, please subscribe. Um, I am a uh, real estate agent. Obviously, if you don't know that by now, uh, I am a real estate agent, but I like to share secrets and tips and strategies and all the things um, that don't cost a fortune because I was able to build my business on not a whole lot of bucks. And so I like to help other agents do the same. So if we're not yet friends online, definitely let's do that. And I want to follow you back so we can support each other. And until the next video, let's get out there and let's get it. I'll see you soon.